Increases the salutations and the baby will be returned to unavowed. Kalas is gone and we discovered what the demon has been up to. So it's uh, time to get busy. And to Wall Street we shall go. wants to go see the Statue of Liberty. The ferry's nearby. Ha! <laughs> That's so fun. I took my girls there once. She'll love it. That, yeah. She liked flying up to the statue's head and mooning it. Children. Oh, uh, that's fun too, I guess. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. That's not good. That's certainly nothing to do with us just yet. No, it's all. There we go. I won't let one mistake destroy everything I've built. I won't. Too many depend on us. There's too much at stake. I know this, but I cannot worry about them now. The trust must survive. If we go down, it would be catastrophic. You told me you could make all this go away. Is this true? It's lying that got us into this mess. Be sure to remember that. Listen, Mr. What was your name again? It is not my nature to trust anyone, least of all a stranger. And yet, I think you're the man for the job. Whatever it is you need to do, do it with my blessing. Let's go to my office and discuss this privately. Something tells me this help doesn't involve a low interest loan. Is everything all right? Should I call an ambulance? Oh, hi. <laughs> no. Our friend is just having a, an episode. He gets them sometimes. You're... no. Never mind. It's not my problem. See? Totally fine. Well, you seem all right. Just be careful around here. It's... Well, just be careful. This Wall Street is a doggy dog world. Well, that was awkward. Should be almost having anything more to do with her. Yep. She put up you one. They sit in their tower, believing they are giants. Hey, man. Too important. That ghost. Can you see it, Logan? Yeah, I can see him. Old guy, wearing a suit, looking down the street. You're not gonna deal with him, not just yet. Oh, look, an old guy in a suit. Didn't you call that guy Jason in that vision of yours? Jason Grant? I don't believe it. You know him? Sure, I know him. Well, <coughs> I knew him back in the 60s. Jason was just a fresh-faced kid then. He sure got old. That's not all he got. This guy's the spitting image of the ghost outside. You're joking. No, this is the guy. Right, KK? See? She agrees with me. Well. Hmm. It isn't late in Beijing or in Australia. Global world of finance. Someone is always working here, which means someone is always at this desk. Yay. Not really. I mean, he walked past the desk every day. He'd say hello, but we never really talked. I guess we never will now. Poor guy. Had a heart attack just outside the door. Was waiting for his car service when poof, out like a light. The guy was fit, too. Well, fit for a 73 year old. So he wasn't expecting to die. Well, I mean, who is? He was stressed out, I'll say that much. I don't care how in shape you are. If you can't relax, you're not healthy. True. That would be Roy Fellows. I don't know much about him. Why's that? 
because I never see the guy. If he ever comes and goes, it's never when I'm on shift. No, like I said, I never see the guy. But the lights are still on, and I still get paid, so I figure he's doing all right. Well, like I said, I saw him every day. We didn't talk much, but he was always laughing and joking with people. But towards the end, he was always alone. He never laughed. He never smiled. He looked, well, stressed. Maybe it's the economy. You keep hearing it's bouncing back, but maybe he knew something we plebs didn't. Sure, just show me your ID and I'll buzz you right in. I shouldn't, but eh, what the hell? Go right ahead. Seriously? No. Uh, no? Sorry, I'm just messing with you guys. <laughs> the late shift gets boring. What can I say? See you around. I'm not talk to him just yet, but this guy. Tower, believing they are giant. This guy might be helpful. All right. Society is being consumed by a terminal poison. We've been robbed and nobody sees it. So no, sir, I am not all right. I am in great pain, as we all are. Report it to who? The police? The police can do nothing. They are asleep. They don't see. Screaming into the abyss in the hope that someone hears me. Can you hear me? We heard you. It would be kind of hard not to. You hear with your ears, but not your mind. You are asleep. Wake up! Please. Yes, because I am the only one awake. Please wake up. Please. Wake up to what exactly? He... he was crushed. Crushed? Crushed by the tower edifice of evil that he created. The future was taken because of him. It is as they say. What goes around, comes around. He deserved no less. Guy died, man. How does he deserve that? Do not doubt me! My name is Hugh Kravitz, and I speak the truth! You sound like you should be on a talk show. He rests at the top of the towering edifice. All answer to him. He answers to nobody. Fellows is untouchable. Only void is the dark emptiness inside the Grant City Trust. They are the cancerous tumor, poisoning society and stealing our future. But nobody sees it. They can't. They, they, they are a cancer on society, taking our future, taking our lives. Look, it's like he wants you're to upset, say something. All the shouting, it's not healthy. You understand that, right? I mean precisely what I say. Yes, yes, it has. Taken by us. For the benefit of them, the giants on high. Pity the few who are chosen. They know not why. I know. I just hoped. No, this is my cross to bear. They believe they are giants. Looking down at us from the clouds and calling us losers. But they are the losers. They would be nothing if it weren't for us. In the clouds, looking, but they... Okay, we're done for now. Time to talk to the ghost. If I choose the right person. Hey, um, excuse me. Could we talk for a sec? Uh, might as well. The service is being slow as shit today. Dude, the kid. <laughs> Sorry, didn't see you there. What's your name? KK. Well, KK, here's an early lesson for you. Never trust a man who doesn't swear. My dad taught me that. You're Jason Grant, aren't you? You run this bank? Run it? <laughs> Maybe I did, once upon a time. Now a board of directors does all that. I'm just a figurehead these days. Suits me fine. The world moves too damn fast, this old brain can't keep up. Have you ever heard of Roy Fellows? Roy? You know Roy? Uh, yeah. Roy, that little shit, that sneak, that liar! That, that... <sighs> no, I do 
not know anyone named Boy Feathers. Don't believe ya! Do you know Hugh Kravitz, that protester across the street? Is he still out there? Poor guy, he used to work for me, you know. He used to work here? What, as a janitor or something? Janitor? He was a vice president. A real up and cover. So what happened to him? Nothing. He got fired. He was fired? And he was lucky? Yes. Yes, he got out. But he didn't get far, did he? None of us can really escape. Welcome to the Hotel California. You're trying to escape? From what? Nothing. From everything. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Why was Hugh fired? Did he do something? He set fire to his papers and threw them into the cubicle bay. Nearly burned the place down. Everyone saw it. He had to be fired. There's no escape, is there? <laughs> Not for us. Not even for you. Bye for now, Mr. Grant. We'll see you around. Sure. Now, where is that goddamn car service? Oh. He burned something, did he? What's up? I'll do my best. What do you need? I don't see why not. Okay, woo, that's a drop. If I say he's alive. No, 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 no. Please let me confess, I will burn it. I promise. I took your child, Travis. Fellows made me do it. I'm so sorry. Fellows made me do it. Fellows made me do it. I can't confess, I can only write it down, then burn it. I can't break free, I can't escape, so on help. Okay! Yes. A kid. He took a kid. I think we need a word. They sit in their tower, believing that... That changes nothing. I have witnessed the corruption firsthand. The poison, the festering malignancy, the... The, the what? Nothing. Nothing at all. A fire was set. By who? I cannot say. It was you. You set the fire. We have a witness. Kind of. I cannot say. He really cannot say. What? You mean you can see? See the truth? Sure. We can see the truth. You took a kid. Come on, man. Tell us what happened. I can't. Right. Your confession said you couldn't talk about it. So you're under some kind of compulsion. The truth hurts. Perks my head. It hurts so much. Of course it hurts. That's what makes it hard. Look, Hugh. We want to help you. But we can't if you don't give us something. Anything. I cannot speak the truth. I did not kidnap a child. So... You're saying you did. Mr. Fellows did not force me to steal a baby boy. That boy was not named Elijah Cook. The boy did not belong to my closest friend and co-worker, who I can't look in the eye anymore. God help me! Oh, that ain't good. Is he okay? He tried to get around his compulsion. It was strong. It fought back. We better get an ambulance. Hopefully his brain isn't fried. We've done all we can for him. Let's get to the bottom of this. Have a... Elijah Cook, wasn't it? Here we go, Elijah Cook. From Travis Cook. I think we need to talk to someone. Were you and Kalash close? Me and Kalash? No, not really. Although I kind of do owe him everything. You owe him? Yeah. When I came into my power, he saved my sanity. Probably my life. He didn't seem the nurturing type. No, he wasn't. He was impossible. Never met me halfway. Never gave me an inch. Surely. It was... It's 
exactly what I needed. Sounds like my old sponsor. Sometimes you get lucky. Yeah, lucky. Oh, he? Yeah, who is it? You do? The Crab City Trust. I knew it. I just knew it. You better come up. I'll buzz you in. <sighs> You're the one who collapsed on the street earlier, weren't you? Honestly, I don't care. You said you have information about my son? It's been three months. I thought the police had given up. But you're not really the police, are you? I can understand where she's coming from. The problem is a stranger doesn't really compare to what she's been going through. It doesn't matter either way, I guess. My name's Logan Brown. The guy in the hat is Eli. I see. Appropriate. Appropriate? Nothing. Everyone thinks I made it up. They think I'm crazy. But I know what I saw. I know what happened. You can trust us. Whatever you tell us, we'll believe you. He disappeared right in front of my eyes. I took him out in the stroller. We go running in the morning, and he just vanished. Yes, I mean that literally. He vanished. I saw him smile. I heard him laugh. He always laughed when the sun hit his eyes. Then he just melted into nothing. I thought I was having a breakdown. I thought I left him in his crib or something. But I looked everywhere. He was just gone. The police don't believe me. They think I was negligent, that I left him alone, that I'm a bad mother. But I'm not. I saw what I saw. He disappeared. I'm just telling the truth. Whatever it takes to get him back. I don't care what anyone else thinks. You said the Grant City Trust was involved. Is that true? Yes. Hugh Kravitz was forced to do it by his boss at the Grant City Trust. Hugh and the Grant City Trust. I never liked that place. I never liked this city. We should have just stayed down in Florida. Can we ask you a few questions about what happened? Sure. Whatever it takes. He was friends with my husband. They're co-workers. Or rather, they were co-workers. Hugh got promoted a few months ago. We had him over to celebrate. It was... Jesus. It was the night before Elijah disappeared. I never noticed that connection before. Why would I? Why would you? Well, why? We don't know. I'm sorry. What about Hugh? He's always outside the bank. Did you ask him? Um, he's kind of unconscious right now. Of course he is. I don't know. He would never talk to me. He wouldn't look me in the eye. I guess now I know why. A sentinel guilt. Didn't he, um, die? I don't know much about him. Sorry. Travis doesn't live here anymore. He went to a hotel, I think. He won't tell me where. Yes, he did. He says he can't look at me. He can't talk to me. He thinks I'm crazy. He thinks I'm the one who lost Elijah. Maybe I can't blame him. I don't know. That's awful. Families should stick together in times like this. <clears throat> Maybe, but we're not family anymore. Of course you are. Tell him that, if you can find him. Yeah, Cedar Key. Born and raised. Same as my husband, Travis. He applied to the Grant City Trust on a whim. Didn't expect to actually get hired. And now, here we are. If you think it will help, I'll just be here. Sure, that load of strangers. Strangers just nose you around your house. So I'm going to do here again. No, 
Okay. Cute. Julie? Moria? Elijah? It can't be. You okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> Sorry, KK. I'm fine. I think so. I, I mean, no, it's impossible. What are you talking about? Nothing. I, I don't know. I... nothing. Just let's keep looking around. We hope the reason why I brought him. What is that? A passport? Let's take a look. I guess, kinda, if he gained about 20 pounds. What are you talking about? <laughs> KK thinks this picture looks like you. Maybe it does. A bit. No, she's right. She's completely right. No, I need to be sure. I need to talk to Mrs. Cook again. She would know. She has to. Well, um, can I ask you a question, Miss Cook? Sure. Your son, Elijah, did you name him after anyone? Is it important? Yes. I think it was Travis's idea. Yeah, his grandfather. It was his grandfather's name. His grandfather was named Elijah. Well, here we go. But that's short for Elijah, isn't it? Isn't that your name too? It's Elliot. Sorry? My name, Eli. It's uh, short for Elliot, not Elijah. But you had no way of knowing that. I'm sorry? Never mind, it's nothing. We're going to find your son, I promise you. Whatever it takes. Come on, let's go. If you haven't guessed, this has become personal. You can try, KK. It can't hurt. What's she doing? She's, um, giving you a hug. Maybe he's not the hugging type. Mandana, how'd you get here? That is not important. I am concerned. Yes, of course you are. Eli, please. Must get after him quickly. Okay. Uh, what about I light? know that look. It's the face of a recovering alcoholic staring at a sealed whiskey bottle. I want to burn it. I want to burn that bank to the ground. What could stop me? Hell, who could stop me? I'm fine. Just fine. Sure you are. I wasn't going to do it. Don't worry. I'm not him. But I want to. I really want to. You understand that, right? Eli, you know where this path leads. You promised, Madonna. You went collage. You said if I faked my death, if I cut off all contact with my family, they'd be safe. Safe from Alden's hunters, yes. This is something else. Yeah, it's something else, all right. And they're gonna be sorry. Of that, I have no doubt. Listen, I'm coming with you on this. That's not up for debate. This is family. And you don't get between me and family. I pity anyone who would try. So, shall I go back to headquarters? Or shall I remain? You mean, the four of us? You're gonna give KK a complex? <laughs> Very well. I will head home. Eli, you will find your namesake. Of this, I have no doubt. Right. Let's go do this. Not yet. Let's do it. No, no, no. Keep doing that. Mr. Grant? Yes. Do 
you know Travis Cook? I'm afraid not. He works for your firm. So do thousands of people. I wish I knew all of them by name, but I just don't have that kind of memory. Do you know anything about Elijah Cook, a baby that was kidnapped a few months ago? No, why? Why should I? He was taken by Hugh Kravitz. He says Roy Fellows put him up to it. No, no, I wouldn't know anything about that. Sure. Absolutely. Did you have a meeting with a guy on the street nearby? Nope. I don't believe I did. Are you sure? I don't have meetings on the street. He's not. Trust me. He's just confused. Confused? Who's confused? Er, uh, nobody. Sorry. You said your service was slow? I believe the phrase was slow as shit. Er, uh, yeah, that. What service? My car service. Been waiting for... I don't know how long. Oh, the fair old while. I hate to tell you this. But I don't think your car service is coming. Yeah, I'm starting to think that too. Well, I can give it a little longer. I'm in no hurry. No, no you're, right. you're um, definitely not. Bye for now, Mr. Grant. We'll see you around. Sure. Now, where is that goddamn car service? Okay, that bit about uh, Eli looking like him. Why are you showing that to me? It's oh, oh, right. Good idea. Give it here. Time for Eli to be the office. <clears throat> Thank you for finding my passport, sir. <laughs> um, hi. Yeah, what's up? I lost my ID card. I've got my passport here, though. That'll work, right? Sure will. What's your name? Travis Cook. Here you go. Is uh, everything okay? This passport picture was taken last year? Yeah, sure it was. Dude, you've lost a lot of weight. What's your secret? Oh, uh, that. I've been doing... Uh, <laughs> typo. That's still a thing, right? <laughs> You're asking the wrong guy, believe me. Anyway, let's look you up. Travis Cook, Travis Cook, uh, here we go. Oh, looks like you have access to the 14th floor. I can issue you a temporary ID good for 24 hours. Drop HR a line and they'll replace the one you lost. Oh, I'll be sure to do that. And can I bring my two colleagues up? As long as they're with you, here's your card, and I'll open the elevator for you. Thank you. Sweet. Thank you so much. That's my job, man. Have a good night. Well, we're in. You doing okay, Eli? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. If you say you're fine, I believe you. Okay, to the 14th floor. Oh, yeah, beat the cop. Oh, down we go again. You still owe me a favor, Mr. Kravitz. Mr. Fellows, I can't. He's my friend, and it's a child, just a baby. That is precisely the point, Mr. Kravitz. Tell me honestly, Mr. Kravitz, did you really believe you were promoted due to your work performance? I wasn't. No, Mr. Kravitz. You have a close relationship with the Cook family, one that I chose to exploit. Tonight, Mr. Kravitz, when you celebrate your promotion with the Cooks, place the charm around the baby's neck, Mr. Kravitz. When the sun rises, the child will be mine. I told you I won't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry, who are you? This is Mel Carissa. A close associate, quite unlike you, Mr. Kravitz. You, Mr. Kravitz, are breaking the law of my people. I'm... what? You owe me a favor. And that means you're mine. Oh, that ain't good. 
Owing a favor? Does that mean what I think it means? I don't know. What does it mean? Only one race trades in favors like that. It's how they gain their power. It means we're dealing with the Fey. Fairy folk. Really? KK did wonder if fairies were real. And I wish they weren't. I really wish they weren't. Okay, and that little note, it's time to bring this video to close. Be good, be well, and don't make deals with Fey. Don't make deals with the Fey. You, you, oh, like it. Bye now.